All right, the fucking time has finally come for NFL season. And when NFL season comes around, DraftKings does their fantasy season. I'm telling you right now, you don't have to wait until week 16 to get paid. Put your fantasy skills to the test starting Sunday at DraftKings.com, America's favorite one-week fantasy football site where you could kick the season off by winning $2 million. G. Monetti. Yeah. Hey. Hey. I'm doing it. I hear you, bro. I'm doing it. All you got to do is put in the promo code R-A-P-A-P-O-R-T and play for free for a shot at $2 million. Damn. It's the biggest fantasy football contest ever. $10 million and prizes are up for grabs, including $2 million for first place and $1 million for second place. You could come in second place and still win a $1 million. This isn't... Fantasy as usual, this is DraftKings. Welcome to the big time. Call to action. Hurry to DraftKings.com right now. Use the promo code Rappaport to play for free for a shot at $10 million in Sunday's Millionaire Maker event this Sunday. $10 million in Sunday's Millionaire Maker event. Enter Rappaport, R-A-P-A-P-O-R-T, for a free entry free now. This is the I Am Rappaport Stereo, Stereo Podcast. Podcast. Live. 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 You're down with Rappaport. Yes, I am. 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 You better tune in. I am Rappaport.com. Cause every single podcast, you know he drops bombs. I seen him on set. A seasoned vet with true talent. Catch him on his way to CrossFit. Rocking the new balance. He asked me to do the track cause he know I rhyme elite. But I'm just waiting for the Robert De Niro line of the week. Breakfast of champions. Toasted bagel, cream cheese, and locks. This is I am Rappaport. The show never stops. We might catch him out in public. Stretching his knees. But if you don't listen to the show, yo. Wiggle, please. Wiggle, please. This is the I Podcast. Test one two one two. This is the I Am Rapport podcast. Check check one two. Check one two. One two one two one two. We're coming live and direct from the gloom tomb in New York City. And are you ready for some football? Hell yeah! Yo, the NFL season is underway. The fucking Tom Brady bullshit is done. I'm I'm so glad to not discuss this anymore. At least for the time being, I've had enough. Right. We, I can't talk about it anymore. It, it's done. He's playing. I'm glad he's playing. I would have loved to have been, have him been suspended, but fuck it. I don't care anymore. I, I, I'm not discussing it anymore. Yeah. The only two people that who, who are to. still suffering are the two ball boys. We want to talk to y'all. Tom Brady is off the hook. Goodell's off the hook. Everybody's off the hook. But those two fucking bell, them two fucking ball boys from Boston, Yastrzemski and the other guy, you have an open invitation to come on the I Am Rapport podcast. But one of the, the one of the big off season stories that kind of uh, was neck and neck with Tom Brady, and it's interesting that I say neck uh, because Russell Wilson is getting no neck. Um, well, you, you, let's you, talk you, about you, this you, shit, rap. Uh, he's uh, announced his engagement to uh, R and B. Uh, I guess you you don't call her a star. I mean, she she's had a good career. She's had some hits. Beautiful, nice, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful R and B singer named Ciara. Good to look at. I mean, I saw her once. She's she's like a giraffe, and I mean that in the best way. Like, damn, this is an exotic, beautiful. Yeah, you just can't tall, stop looking. Yeah, like wow, like yo, I I seen her. She was beautiful. Yeah. Um, uh, but, and, and I don't know her, and I, I know she, she, you know, I don't know anything about her. But the thing that I do know is that Russell Wilson, um, in the off season, they fell in love, yada yada yada, and they've announced that they're 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 engaged and they're ce- they're they're celebrating their celibacy, and 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 that's fine. But 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 the problem that I'm having with this is why is this something that I know about, and why the fuck, Russell. Are you bragging about not getting any ass? Who brags that they're not getting the yeah, ass? Yeah. Yeah. Who's, who does shit like that? I don't get that. That's sucker shit. I, we, I just don't understand. Like, who, who's going to go around and, like, and make that into something that's dope? That's not dope. Like, what, what you want from us? You want some merits for that? You don't get no props for that. That's a beautiful woman. That's your girl. It's nothing wrong with having relations. You, you, you don't even know it. It's like, that's like buying a car and not test driving the car. Word. We, we've discussed this before. 
That is literally like buying a car and not test driving the car. You, you mean to tell me you're going to spend a, a, buy a car that you're going to have to ride with for the rest of your life, that you're not going to give a test drive, not even a quick test drive? And how long are you waiting? Until you get married and then you're going to You don't know if you're going to marry her? Yo, hold on. Hold on, man. Listen, I don't understand this, man. So, so, so I just, I just, I don't understand why, why that's become a, 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 a headline story in sports. Uh, Russell Wilson, you, you didn't even win the game last year. You threw the game away. Why are we, why is he being touted? If I was him all, all summer, the only thing I would be doing is working on that slant, that post pattern into the end zone. Yeah. Not and, going around telling everybody about. I'm your, not getting no ass. They, 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 you don't. We, she might not. Your fuck style may not be buck wild. Right, right. So this isn't just on you, Russell Wilson. This is on uh, your your beautiful fiance. And I don't mean to, you know, stick my nose in your business, but hey, you, they, you you told me you you TMI'd me. T T. You gave me too much information. You T TMI'd me, <laughs> TMI. which was not to be confused with T bagged me. He didn't T bag me. He TMI'd me. Yo, why is that something? To be applauded. This is this is natural. Like this is natural. This is God's gift. If you don't know who Ciara is, look her up. Yeah. I, I, like why, why? I just don't get it. And so 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 that's it. You know, we're not going to go into the the football of it all and the details of it all. It's football season, and then soon basketball season, and this is when the I Am Rappaport podcast thrives. Word. Because we not only have the everyday dun dun dun, dun shit. You got football, you got basketball. I mean, it, it, it's just an exciting time to be a, to be a fan of the Iron Rapport podcast. It's a fire, it's an exciting time to 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 be the the uh, the host of the Iron Rapport podcast. And like I said, yo, we appreciate the fans. The fan art is bugged out. Oh man, um, great! The, great the all loafs matter campaign oh, has go- taken off. Absolutely, it is taking on a life of its own. If you're not familiar with all loafs matter, look it up. Uh, because it is, it's important to know that all loafs matter. matter. All, all loafs matter. matter. Okay, no one should be, uh, uh, you know, in, in, they shouldn't be cut off. Uh, you shouldn't be made fun of if you, if you, if you had an accident, like the gentleman who who now has the bionic dick. Uh, men, if your girlfriend is cheating with another man, that man's loaf should be off. Limits left alone. All loafs matter. It, 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 it's it's a campaign. It's a movement. And like I told you, the 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 loaf walk will be uh, being uh, the details are, are I don't have them all right now, but there right. will be a loaf walk in 2016. Um, all loafs matter. All loafs matter. If your girl says you ain't holding, so what? All loafs matter. Right. Don't- if you have a, if you have a dis- disfigured 19 inch. A loaf like the gentleman in Mexico, all, all loaves loaves matter. matter. That's right. You, you should not be uh, shy or embarrassed of your loaf. If your fuck style is buck wild, if your fuck game is insane, all loaves, loaves matter. matter. And we <laughs> embrace that. Oh, man, what else are we going to talk about? We're, 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 we I mean, gotta, there's th- so many different things. Uh, they, 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 they attacked uh, another guy in New York. Uh, the headline in the New York Post: uh, James Blake, who is a he's a he's a um, a good tennis player, not a great, great, great. I mean, he's great as far as he's been top ten, top twenty, top thirty. He was four in the world at one point. Yeah, he's he's he, he's won tournaments. He's not one more of the well known tennis players, but he was attacked on his way to the U.S. Open outside of the, the hotel Grand Hyatt in in Times Square, and and the New York Post put the headline of of well cops tackle. Black tennis player. The New York Post doesn't give a fuck, do yeah. they? White cops tackle. You, you see the, the sensationalism. They're, they're, they're just adding fuel right. to the fire. Which Rekindling is a, the fire. You just want it to keep going. And right. now obviously, we're on the side of James Blake. James Blake said that uh, when, when the undercover cops approached him, they were running at him. He smiled at him because he thought they were autograph seekers. Little did he know he could have fucking been killed. These, this, is how a guy, this is how accidents happen. What if he started running? Exactly. Because he just was scared for his life. What if James Blake just took off and he's a fast motherfucker? He's a professional tennis player. And then they're chasing the wrong guy. But he's running because he sees five white dudes running at him like with, with, with venom in their eyes. The guy did nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. He's there texting. Yo, lawsuit. 
Sue these motherfuckers. You have the power to do it. James Blake, we, we have an open invitation to come to the I Am Rapport podcast and tell your story. We're fans of yours. And, and, and we would love to be the ones who, who get the first edition uh, interview with you. To be the first people. Come to us first. Cause, Absolutely. Because tennis coverage sucks, by the way. I, I don't, like, I, you know, the, the coverage, the analysis during the matches is great, especially when Pat Macron was doing it. But other than that, tennis continues to take itself so seriously. And I think if they brought a little bit more humor and a little bit more not taking themselves so seriously as a, as, as a sport, they would have it open to new fans. Because when the Williams sisters leave, it's a wrap, ladies oh, and gentlemen. it's a wrap. Love them or hate them, just like boxing. When Floyd Mayweather leaves, if he, if he actually does retire after this 49th fight, and last week we did say it was his 50th fight, but we were, going, uh, we were, we were doing what we do, which is not fact-checking. Right. So we were correct. So, so we said 50th, <laughs> it was 49th. Uh, who cares? It's still more exciting, more interesting, and bigger accomplishment than anything Ronda Rousey has done. Um, but but, but uh, James Blake, sue them, and, and tennis... Yo, have me and Moody uh, do some pre pre match stuff. Oh. We'll go out to U.S. Open. We'll live. We'll we'll turn it out. We'll, we'll make it we'll live. We'll make it more fun because it's a, it's a it's a shit a yeah. shitty coverage sport. Yeah, it's it's not 1950, and uh, you know like they take the match so seriously. Also, you notice that sport uh, tennis is the only sport that doesn't have the coaches on the sidelines. Like You're they right. should have the coaches on the sidelines getting hype, barking at them. Like, Richard Williams should be there on, on the sidelines with Venus and Serena Williams. Yeah. That would make it better right there. And then, then you have the mics in there. And then, like, you know, like, like you, 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 you could have, like, I, hey, if I'm, a, if I'm a tennis player, I'm at the U.S. Open, you know who I want, would want to be my coach? If I was Dokovic or, or, or if I was, uh, you know, uh, uh, Nadal. Who? Danny Aiello. Oh, Go ahead, man. You cocksucker! <laughs> You're down two fucking sets to nothing. You're getting your fucking ass kicked. Start serving the fucking ball. Your ground strokes suck my fucking balls, you cocksucker. You're at the U.S. fucking open. That'd be Danny Aiello as a... Rafael Nadal's coach. You know how the ratings would be for that? Yo, if you have a problem with sports, if you have a problem with tennis ratings and interest, let the coaches be on the sideline. Yep. And anybody that doesn't have a coach, let Danny Aiello give motivational speeches. Yeah. What the fuck kind of serve was that? <laughs> Your serving volley sucks cock. <clears throat> what else, G. Moody? Uh... All since you was talking about all loaves matter, yes, let's sir. go back to all Black Lives Matter. We have the leader, uh, Sean King. Oh yeah, they said uh, they confirmed that he's a white guy. Yo, and he hasn't made a comment yet, so it's hard to, to make any anything. But you know, with with uh, I saw with, a picture of him as a little boy. He looks like your brother, Eric. Shout out to Eric Rappaport. Eve Rap. P- professor Eric Rappaport. Professor. My brother's a professor. Professor E. Dr. Rappaport is his name. Yes. Okay? So it, 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 it's not all, uh, you know, shucking and jiving over here in the Rappaport household. Right, right. It's, it's uh, uh, scientific. It's what? Scientific evidence. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No <laughs> doubt. No doubt. Um, and and this, is, this, this is something that it, it continues to be an issue that just doesn't seem to be able to find its, its way away. And that is the Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah. Like this year, 2015, in, 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 in 75, 80 years when they go over like the years and stuff like that, yep. they're going to mention 2015. And one of the first things they're going to mention is Caitlyn Jenner. Were. And why? And fucking why? Spectacle shit. Yo, Caitlin, listen to me. You ain't Linda Evans. Listen to me. <laughs> Check this out. You want to continue to do press and do the press rounds. You made your announcement. You did your Vanity Fair. Yeah. You, you, you won the ESPN thing. You're not promoting a movie. You're not promoting a book. You're not pr- promoting a podcast. You're not promoting a, a, a new album. You're not promoting a new uh, charity you're starting. You know what you're promoting? Your fucking self. 
You go on the Ellen DeGeneres show, and then a few days later, you go on with uh, Matt Lauer. Today's show. And then you have like a whole press tour. Why? What you promoting? You're not promoting anything but yourself, just like the Kardashians. Go the fuck away. If I was a talk show host of a big talk show like Matt Lauer or Ellen DeGeneres, he's answered all the questions. He's done the press. Why are you still talking about this shit? And then when you go on the shows, Matt Lauer is like, yo, who are you dating? He's like, oh, we're not going to talk about that. Then why? why are you here? Why are you here? What are you doing here? What more do we need to talk to you about? We don't want to know about your daily shit every day. We want to know who you're dating and where is that dick? Word. Those are the only two questions you haven't answered. You're, you, there's nothing special or groundbreaking right. about you're not, what you're doing. You're not you're, fly. You're, you're not pretty. You're, you're, you're not you're, none you're, of that. And, and, and what you've done has been done and done and done. Why are you anointed? Why don't you bring other people into the fold? Other other less lesser known um, um, tra- tra- transsexual, transsexual yeah. people that are transitioning and, and, and have them go on Ellen. And and have them go. You go away. Yeah, where your crew at? And you're, you're never gonna you're never gonna be able to date somebody because you've you've made your life a spectacle. And when you do date somebody, it's gonna be a spectacle. But I don't feel bad for you because you've chosen to do this. Yeah. So if you go, if if I'm running the Tonight Show, if I'm running the Fallon Show, or any daytime talk show, or would you CNN, put him on? Yo, you know, I don't want to talk to you about what's already been talked about. He loves calling his breast her breast. Yo, I got these puppies in. He's showing Matt Lauer how she she this became fake, she man. became a she became a better golfer. Yo, I don't want to talk about any yeah. of that shit. Where's that loaf? And who who's tapping that ass? Right. And who you want to be with? Because other than that, like you've answered all the questions. You've brought the people into your life. Yep. Go away now. Live your life. Who's your man? Find yourself. Who's your man? Find some time to yourself. Don't like don't be in the public eye like, well, I can't get away. Yo, take your ass to Montana and, and you will be able to fucking yo. And he said, I'm I'm so tired of this, Caitlyn Jenner. Like, go away. You're not promoting anything but Caitlyn Jenner. But money it's said like, it's like there are like the Kardashians and the Jenners. It's like they're afraid to have one week. Where, where you get away from them. It should be a national holiday. They should give it to the world where just one day, you're, you're not allowed to post anything. You don't tweet anything. We don't want to see you every fucking day. Yo. En- enough is enough, man. I've had enough uh, 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 of, of this, 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 this woman, and I would like her to go away. They're trying to blur. We, we, we've heard it all. We've seen it all. We want to know what's up with that dick, and we want to know who's tapping that ass. Other than that, you're not welcome to come on the Iron Rapport podcast because if you come on here, we're asking the real question. That's right. All right, the Iron Rapport podcast is sponsored by Casper Mattresses. Casper Mattresses, both me and G. Monetti have been sleeping on Casper Mattresses for months. Casper is an award-winning sleep startup that launched with outrageously comfortable mattresses sold directly to the consumers. All right, the Casper mattress is singular design, universally comfortable, available in all standard sizes and backed by a 10-year warranty. Casper mattresses sleeps cool, provides healthy bounce, and promotes ideal anatomic support. Free two to five days shipping anywhere in the in the United States and in Canada. In New York City, you can get your fucking mattress the same day. The mattress will show up in a box. You're going to be like, what the fuck is this? And then it unfolds and it decompresses. It's a fucking great mattress. $50 off the promo code when you punch in Rappaport, R-A-P-A-P-O-R-T. $50 off your first mattress. Try it. They will come and get the mattress after 100 days of use. Do you understand what I'm saying? Sleep on the fucking thing. Fart in it. Shit on the bed. Do whatever. Piss the bed. Do whatever you do. Do whatever you do. Freak off. Jerk off. I don't want to tell anybody's business. Do whatever you do. And if you don't like it, Casper will take the mattress back. Okay, go to Casper Mattresses, Casper.com. Check it out. Out. Can I start? Yeah, sure, G. Moody. You can always start. Uh, I I welcome you to start. Chris Carter. Oh, yeah. He said... uh, NFL, uh, former NFL player and uh, current analyst. Football analyst, ESPN. What did he say, G. Moody? He said... uh, at, at, At a rookie symposium. Where you talk to the rookies and tell them what it's like... To be in the NBA. NFL. Sorry. The NFL. <laughs> and he says... Uh, Fuck. He gives him a, a talk and he says, you need a fall guy. Meaning, when you out, you need somebody that's going to go to jail for you. If some shit goes down. Right. So, my mind was like, some fucking friend. What kind of fucking friend are you going to have? Another friend who's like, hey. this is some fucking friend. Like Jeff. 
If anything happens, don't worry, Jeff will fucking do it. And how is that fall guy determined? Yeah, that's fucked up. And, and what do I get as the fall guy? You get nothing. You get nothing. You, 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 you get to not be a rat. I, yeah, I get out of jail. In, you, in nine years. <laughs> Man, that's what you tell guys at the camp? Chris Carter. See, the NFL, they's like, oh, man, we, we, we have to distance ourselves. And, uh, no. they, didn't, they didn't fire Chris No, Carter. no. He's lucky. He's lucky. He's lucky. Stronger, uh, stronger actions weren't taken. And, Were. And, and, and what else did you want to talk about? We want to talk about, we talked about these twins for the Phoenix Suns. Well, now one was shipped, shipped out of there. The, 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 what are their last names? Uh, Mark Keefe and Keefe. <laughs> Chief Keefe. <laughs> Marquise, is it the Marquise twins or I, I don't know the no. fucking twins on the Phoenix Suns? They just they, they have tattoos, they have beards, they, the they, same everything. They, they they live together. They have one bank account, and now one of them got traded, and the other one is like freaking out. He's going bananas because his twin brother is not with him. You're a grown man. You you guys twinned enough. We twinning. <laughs> you twins enough. You tricked and fooled and fucked around with people. Haven't you played that joke enough where you come in wearing the same yeah. shit? Let yourselves go, man. Grow up. Yo, this is the NBA. This isn't a fucking... You're not doubles tennis players. Package deals. If you want to be doubles tennis players, be the fucking Markeith Twins uh, double te- doubles tennis player. You can do whatever the fuck you want. It's the NBA. If they want to ship one of you one place and ship the other one to another place, you can't go shitting on the place that, that, that you're still at because they got rid of your brother. Yeah, he's going crazy, I heard. He's going crazy, man. Tearing up it, shit it, in the it, locker it's room. It's the offseason, man. You shouldn't be making headlines, Markeith or Marquise. I, I, I don't know which one it is because oh. they, they, they go out of their way to look fucking identical. Grown men. Not little third graders playing a trick yeah. on their... their, their Grown their men. Cut the bullshit. I know they hate the motherfuckers in the locker room. Yeah. I know I would. They come in like, we twinning. I got, I got the <clears throat> same uh, Nikes like, like, like Markeith. And he got... Tra- now, now, you, now you don't. Now he's trading. You're all fucked up. Yeah. All right. So what else did you want to talk about, Mr. Moody? I see a, a rise in crime in Central Park. A rise of crime in Central Park, and, in New York and, and City. there's a rise in drug use. It's going back to the bad old days in New York. <clears throat> yeah, glimmers on, of it. Yeah, it's on some dope fiend. This is some other shit. This oh. ain't dope fiend shit where they just leaning. They on that K two. That that synthetic weed. That ooh wee. <laughs> ooh wee to the fucking tenth power. If you don't know what that ooh wee is, G Moody, explain that. It's like some angel dust shit, right? But this shit is on some other shit. So, so it's ooh wee <laughs> to the 10th power. Because you got motherfuckers sprawled out on the sidewalk. We saw it. You could see it all over the city. 125 in Lexington. Zombie. It's like, it's like 1971 out there. Dawn of the Dead. Yo, dudes are out there on the street fucked up. They on that spice. It sells for a dollar. And the chemists uh, put different shit in it to skirt the law so they, they <clears> keep getting it on the <clears> shelves. <throat> it looks like little Kool-Aid packets. And these guys are out there all messed up. It costs a dollar. Yo, all you kids out there, you, Leave you that, Instagram, yo. Twitter kids. Don't you, you, fuck with that. Don't fuck around with that. You might as well just smoke straight weed if you want to do something. Kidney damage, irreversible brain yeah, damage, you come back hallucinations. A, it come back as if, you, as if you've gotten a fucking car wreck. Cass is naked in the street. Naked. Butt ass. Butt ass naked. In, in, the, in the streets of New York, making love to each other. Yeah. On that. Ooh, we. So don't fuck around with it. We see it all the time here on the streets, right? Live and direct, right, right, in, right in person here in New York City. And uh, <clears throat> back to the Central Park thing. Oh, yeah. There's been uh, 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 ro- some crimes and robberies in Central Park, which I don't like. And uh, 
Neither did Curtis Sliwa. Curtis Sliwa, who is the founding member of the Guardian Angels. If you don't know who the Guardian Angels are, it was like, uh, 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 like, a, like a good Samaritan gang that was uh, you know, protecting and serving and really well-intentioned in the, in the late 70s and the early 80s, probably I think the early 80s here in New York City. Like they, would, they would be out there, just volunteer thing. And then it went at a, uh, you know, it kind of, it, w- it was very popular. Then it went uh, you know, through different phases and Curtis Sliwa uh, invented it. There's been movies, books, all kind of shit about it. But Curtis Sliwa is kind of a... Uh, I don't know what would you call him now. Uh, uh, a radio host. He's a radio host, but but he, he he's had a crazy career. Anyway, so Curtis Sliwa he said, said he, he said he's going to start uh, getting his guys back to patrol Central Park. The Guardian Angels are back, and I'm saying when I read that, I'm like, yo, this ain't '76. No, it's not 1982. It's not, it's not the Lizzies out there, man. <laughs> right? It's not, it's not fucking uh, those Warriors type cats. <laughs> <laughs> These are fucking bloods and crips. Yeah, they're, they're not out there to fuck around, Curtis. You Lee out was. there with no guns, <clears throat> with a red with a red beret on, and you 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 know karate. You can't get close to niggas to do karate. And and Curtis Lee, well, we don't know if you actually do know karate. Yeah, we've never actually. He's the OG of the. Guardian Angels. I know, but we don't know if he actually knows karate. Right, right. We never seen this motherfucker practice it. We we've never seen it. So I would suggest leave those guys who are sixty five years old alone. Yeah, you need to be you need to be like you know in shape. They need to get some young new Guardian Angels to right. deal with it. You can't have the old motherfuckers that we're gonna strike up the band again. Yeah, and we're gonna take out the handcuffs and and, and the Bowie knife. Yeah, and some and some fucking twine, and we're gonna tie guys up. It's not like that anymore. No, no. All right, we don't want you getting hurt. We fuck with you. We fuck with you, uh, Curtis Sliwa. Yeah, but leave them bloods and crips alone. Yeah, don't, 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 don't mess around with that. This is the I Am Rappaport Podcast. American Giant sponsors the I Am Rappaport Podcast. Go to American-Giant.com. Check it out. T-shirts, sweatshirts, American-made, American-manufactured. Really good quality. Soft, rugged, hoodies. Sweatpants, all of it, AmericanGiant.com, American-Giant.com. The slogan for American Giant that we created is American Giant Clothing. Champion. Can't fuck with this shit, yo. Uh, I'm going to say one of the things that uh, is disappointing about uh, the kickoff for fantasy football wow. and the NFL football season in general is that me and uh, G. Monetti, we mm-hmm. had planned for the last four days to be eating... Uh, oxtails out of a uh, paper bag during the game. Yeah. But uh, on your way to uh, the gloom tomb this morning, you brought your oxtails in a plastic Tupperware thing. And yeah, this, was, is, this is this is what I'm dealing with here. Yeah, I was going to court. OK, for what? Um, you motherfuckers trying to take my house, man. OK, that's a that's a whole other. So I, I had to uh, uh, um. uh, uh, set a motion in order. OK, OK. And I didn't know that. You know, you can't have food in the courthouse on Grand Concourse in the Bronx. So you brought the Tupperware full of four and a half pounds of stewed oxtails. And they told me, you can't bring food in the court. So I turned around. It was raining. So I said, damn, where could I hide these oxtails? And I hit them. Right? I thought I hit them. Came back out, a motherfucker. They, they, they were gone. I, that's why I don't have the oxtails for you tonight. Yo, and, and, and we had been talking uh, uh, for the last few days. Yo, we're gonna be eating those oxtails, oxtails yeah. with with the fucking rice. sauce and the rice out of the bag, like yellow that, rice, that Richard Williams type shit. Yeah, but you, 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 I you're, fucked you're, up. <clears throat> I fucked up. I didn't know you couldn't get them past the metal detectors. You can't bring food into the courthouse, which makes sense. So it I made, hit him, and a homeless vagrant <laughs> took, took your, your vagabond stole. And he, but he eating good. You you you've been all uh, up in arms uh, uh, about uh. We have you know a lot of shit, man. You have some hip hop guys that always talk about their hip hop and how authentic they are, and they are quick to say. 
their black resume. What the fuck is that? Where they don't appear African American. Uh huh. Like when you see me, you know I ain't got to tell your ass. Oh, I'm Greek. I'm this. I'm that. You see me? I tell you where I'm from. I'm black. I'm a descendant of those slaves. And and you are saying what? You don't need to give us your black resume to try to validate yourself into hip hop culture. And, and how so? I don't. I'm not exactly understanding what you're saying. Like so. I'm so saying when, some cats be like, "Oh, I'm Greek. I'm this. I'm that." And um, my mother's black. We don't need to hear that, B. Yeah, we don't need to hear all that shit. All that bullshit. When you look at me, I'm just black. Because when the shit hits the fan, you either going to be chased or chasing. (laughs) And then you'll know who you is. (laughs) Yo. We had the pleasure. I had the pleasure. You, you known her. Yes. I had the pleasure of meeting Carrie Champion. Yeah. Of ESPN. Yes, ESPN, famous uh, from uh, being on uh, First, First Take, take and now she's host. on Sports Center. A friend of the I Am Rapport podcast, supportive of me, supportive of. Of all my things, I was the first guest on her podcast. Be and, honest, yes, which which I love her podcast and Carrie Champion is 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 good people, solid people, and uh, but I gotta say something. Yeah, what about it? I gotta say that she's presidential. What do you, what does that mean? That mean if I was president, you want somebody like that on your arm. Oh yeah, because the beauty. Oh yeah is she's the type of girl where you just find yourself looking at. Yeah, you know, you know, you, 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 Carrie Champion is one of those people that's so pretty. She's so, she's so fine. She's cool as shit. Word. But we're just talking about the beauty. If, if you look at her too long, you, you, you're just going to get sort of locked into some sort of hip, hypnotized state. Word. So I, you're better off just like making eye contact and then, and then walking away and almost acting like it didn't happen. Right. Because she, she, she has the kind of beauty that when you're up close to it, you're like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah. This is the Iron Rapport Podcast, and, and we're out. <laughs>